much energy. podcast bffr or be fucking for real whichever one you want to say okay so we are back again this is now my second podcast second episode whichever you want to call it and i have a new topic for you of course um what we're going to be talking about today is toxic relationships so right now i think i'm going to have everyone introduce themselves and then we'll get into it so you want to go first Hello everyone, my name's Ayana. Tell me where you from. I'm from Lancaster, PA. Yeah, she's um, not from here. I'm not from here, it's about like three and a half hours away from here, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so of course y'all know it's me, Lorna. And who are you? Gioni. You got anything to say? Uh, follow me on Instagram, G underscore Rigo. That's all? That's that, that, we a shout out. <laughs> Uh, we well, a shout out. Shout out to Alana's podcast. Oh, you is yeah. full of it because you know what I'm talking about. Shout out her. He acted funny, but it's cool. They call me Lo. I'm Shay. Okay, what's your name? Azana. Tay. Okay, so we're going to be talking about toxic relationships, okay? And when I said toxic relationships, I'm already 120% sure you guys thought I meant dating or relationships. I'm not relationships, dating or marriage and things. There are different kinds of things. Like relationships is a connection between two things. Like you know what I mean? Like you have a relationship with your dog. You can have a relationship with your family, okay? So this is we need to think outside of dating and stuff. Like we be too worried about it. Okay? But okay, so my first question to you guys. What Okay, since we already went through it, it was going to be, what do you call a relationship? But we went through that. What would you say a toxic relationship is? What do what do you guys think a toxic relationship is? Like, what makes it toxic? Um, I think for me, like a toxic relationship in general, whether it's platonic or together with someone, is when you have to go against, like, your boundaries and you feel, like, overwhelmed mm-hmm. with certain things that are, like, going on and within. So that can be... With your mom, if you feel like you need some space, or with your partner, if you feel like they're just too up, too much on you. So. I ain't gonna lie, I, I like how you said that. You was like platonic and yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. I probably learned out what yo like. She said it like the best uh, oh, <laughs> oh, like, and that's crazy. I just learned that word like a month ago. So like, now that you say it, I'm like, yeah, like mm-hmm. for real. No, I, I honestly, I think I agree, but, like, I really like how you said, going outside your boundaries, like, yeah, that was real, like, for me, I, mm, I don't know what boundaries I Boundaries is I'm, something that people don't really know how to put on. I feel like I just learned this year about what boundaries is, how beneficial it is. For yes, no, yes, that, and that's true. I think that really has to go with, like, your self-love. Mm-hmm. It's like, I feel like once you truly love yourself, like, that's when you really set those boundaries. Like, okay, this is what I'm for. I love myself enough that I'm not going for this. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing this. This is me, and that's that. Yeah. So I, I definitely, I can say that, like, setting boundaries. So there's been a lot of situ. There's been a lot of situations, man. We, that's another question. Cause you, yeah, that's another question. What you, what would you say a toxic relationship is? Uh, I mean, it depends on what relationship you talk about, though. Like everything is different, like for a situation. Uh, we talking about relationships like you and a partner. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like you, I don't know, like forcing. You're forcing somebody. Like somebody can be forcing you to act a certain way for them to love you, type shit. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. Shit like that, like, she said something with your parents, that's a good one, like, I mean, it could be the same, like, they forcing you, or just, they have trauma, they had trauma in their life, they for, they put it on you, like, it, it's just certain shit like that. I agree, I agree, so, this is kind of the same question, but I think we are all saying, like, really good stuff, so I kind of want to go deeper into that, so my next question would be, how do we assess a toxic relationship, meaning, like, how do you know? So, like, you know how you were saying that bound, like, like you pretty much, I guess you said, explained your part. So, Gianni, did you have something to say about, like, how do you assess it? Like, go deeper in detail of it. Um, like. Like, you were saying, like, for instance, you were saying, like, oh, the trauma and stuff like that. So, it's like, how do you assess it? Like, do you know things? Like, how can you tell? 
Yeah, like communication be off. Like you cannot be communicating with a person. Uh, like y'all not the bonds. Y'all really don't have a bond. Like you see other things. Like damn, you wish that was me and that person. But it's not like that. So shit don't be going as you want it to sometimes. I agree. Like I feel like when it stops bringing you joy, like. Mm-hmm. Even through the ups and downs and stuff, like, I really feel like a relationship, that is, like, that's your bestie. Like, that's really your bestie. It's really, like, not F everybody, but, like, F everybody. When it's, like, once that start going away and it's, like, you really bugging out, like, you're getting on my nerve. Like, I think, like, that's kind of where it's, like, it's kind of, like, okay, this is turning. Well, not even toxic, but it's, like, on the way of being there. Like, it's going to, yes, like, that stress. No, definitely that stress. Like, I don't know. I guess I feel, like, how you know how dudes be, like. (laughs) <laughs> when they before they cheating or something, they'll just randomly be like, "Yeah, like you, you're not my piece. Like you're not my piece. Like you're not my piece. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be acting like this because you, <laughs> man, girl. I feel like I see it happening when like the other person stops pretty much doing what they've been doing th- since the beginning. To be honest, like you know what I mean. Like as soon as they stop doing what made us what we are now, I feel like. That's what starts it because people can start getting the wonder and stuff. I think I disagree with that. Only for the fact of, I mean, like, I think the beginning is always such a honeymoon phase. Yeah. So it's like, what do you mean? Like, you're saying, like, oh, what happens in the beginning? But I feel like. Why would you change that? Oh, I feel what you're meaning. Like, the honeymoon phase is what got got us here in the first place. That's very. Okay, that actually does make sense. Now I get it. I get what you're saying. Mm-hmm. It shall always be like that. It exactly. shall be the honeymoon phase. So, why why are we changing, switching up on each other? Good point. No, that was a good ass point. I like that. Shay, how do you feel like you can assess <sighs> when the other person starts taking advantage of certain things? Mm. I feel like that's when it turns toxic. Mm-hmm. So you feel like that? Um, talking, talking to me. Say it again. again. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like whenever the person that you're with, when they start taking advantage of certain things that you do, that's what starts a toxic relationship. Okay, so kind of like what we were talking about earlier with boundaries and things. Like, you feel like those bound. Okay. Okay. I like that. I like that. Zada, okay. how do you assess a toxic relationship? I would say I assess it when I start feeling like you're doing stuff. Like, every moment of the day, like, you're doing something. Like, I should not, like, that is toxic now. Like, Wait, what do you mean? Like, the trust. Something. Like, I don't trust you. Like, when I feel like. Well, what I did I get? You. But when you, okay, you just feel like, is it like a intuition thing? Intuition, or? yeah. Like, okay, like intuition. Oh, yeah. Like, okay. Like, okay. I can get once that. I start feeling like I can't trust you or like you're doing something because you're being sneaky because I'm sleeping about it, yeah, you're, it's toxic because like, I'm about to go off. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> you, you know, I'm about to snap it. <laughs> okay, mm-hmm. Tay, when do you. It's just that it's a toxic relationship. I feel like people just start moving differently. Like, like bro said, like, I w- I'm not going to say the honeymoon phase, because feel me. I feel like when you everybody first start talking, it's just like, oh, mm-hmm. that sweet shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Personally, I don't expect nothing to, like, all that sweet shit to last 24-7 hours out the day. I'm keep it 100. That's probably, I ain't, mm-hmm. that's just annoying, for real. I'm going to keep it 100. <laughs> Uh, we can't be comfortable, but that's what, okay. That's where I was thinking, but yeah, but uh, yeah, people just start moving funny for real, for real. You could just feel like the whole energy shift and all that. Like they start lying about, feel me, what they doing and shit. Like they they don't know that you know it's a lie, but you know them to a certain extent that you can tell it's a lie. But, yeah. All right, so um, second question: Can a toxic relation relationship? be fixed in my opinion yes uh can it be fixed i mean it takes two so if it's only one trying then it can't be fixed i agree it takes both parties to fix it and that's what i was saying from earlier like everything starts from like the beginning so once that stops it's like if we ain't trying both of us ain't trying then it's like I don't know if a toxic relationship can, like, truly be fixed. Like, I mean, you can always... I mean, I guess it depends, like, how much of a forgiving person you are for the most part. But, like, certain stuff for me, like, certain boundaries... If certain boundaries are crossed, for me at least, like, it's... That's done. 
that's done. So I, I don't know. I don't, I don't believe that you can fix a toxic relationship. Cause why, why are we get if we're getting like if me and me being around you and you being around me is bringing this side of us out. It's kind of like I don't, I don't think it should be fixed. Like I mean, we should just not be around each other. Well, I feel like if y'all point out, you know, write down in front of each other's uh, differences, like what I have a problem with you, what you have a problem with me. And y'all go down a list like this is what's causing it and as i said it takes two to try in my opinion so uh toxic relationship can be fixed nope it cannot because just think about it if like you've done that stuff to me you have got me to a certain point where i feel things about myself that i didn't feel before mm -hmm. i cannot forgive you for that because I'm going to go on feeling this way, even if we say, oh, okay, it's cool, whatever. I'm going to always feel it. So it's like, you could just let that bond and all of that be left where it is. Like, I'm not willing to repair it. Like, you made me feel this way. I feel this way for the rest of my life. That's cool. I'm cool off you. What about you? Well, Good question. <laughs> Can a toxic relationship be fixed? Mm, no, nah, you got to get up out of there. Especially when shit gets started, like, becoming a pattern, like, consistently. At, some, at that point, you down there just putting it, my fault. You just putting yourself in that situation. You know what the outcome's going to be, but you just letting your feelings hold you and get you stuck in it out. In reality, you got to feel it. Because you come first. Your feelings come first. Mm -hmm. I don't really care about all that. Oh, we could work this all that. Oh, you doing too much. You gotta go for it, bro. Could you affect? So you don't believe? Yep, you yeah, don't believe there's no you, change. You probably other person how really I feel about myself and all that. No. That's so y'all cool. pretty much saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. Like, but I got something to add. Like, I feel like it really applies to friendships and like relationships with your parents and stuff when it's not really able to be fixed. Mm -hmm. Like, like we, mm -hmm. I trust my friends so much and my parents mm -hmm. so much. If you're willing to do something to harm me that bad or that I think is so traumatic that That's this toxic, family. yeah, like I, like okay. Boys, I don't really take it as hard because boys are boys. Boys are stupid. Like, I really, just boys are stupid. But from somebody that I trust so much that I would trust with my life, like, for you to do something toxic and make me feel like I can't forget, yeah, no. That's where it hurts more. It doesn't really hurt coming from a random guy or something. It hurts from coming from people I pour my heart out to, I am supposed to run to. I, but you're saying a lot of stuff that, I mean, if you really want to be in a relationship with somebody, I'm not saying you should trust them with your life. I feel like at what point, because a relationship, even what if, what if this is a married couple, hypothetically speaking, what if it's a married couple, you should be able to trust your like, yeah, spouse you, with You should life. trust them, but like, Either, either way, you'll trust your family more, more. than you'll trust than anybody. Like, you'll trust, I I'll trust you more than anybody. Yeah, but... But, like, with the bond. Like, if you okay. had a bond before and then it was kind of, like, rocky and it yeah, just got I toxic. Because, like, nobody's bond is really just messed up from the jump. Like, it's something before. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. I get you. I get you. That makes sense. Like, that can a toxic relationship affect your goals? Who's going first? first? You. Uh... Yeah, it could. Like, yeah, it could definitely affect your goals. Like, it could affect your money. It could affect a lot of shit. Like, like you could be worried about trying to fix that with you and your partner. Or, like, shit could be going on, going on uh, with your parents at home. And it's, like, bring you down at work. Or, yeah. like, you just trying to fix shit that's going on in the household. Like, your mind is focused on that, like. It's getting in the way of everything that you really need to be doing. But you try and get peace over there before you get peace over this way with yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. Because when you're so focused on to, like, what's going on in your toxic, like, relationships and stuff, you can't focus on yourself, like someone was saying. You gotta, you're putting all that energy into all those toxic things. So it's affecting... Mm -hmm you know, your time because you're using some of your time on trying to argue with so-and-so or instead of putting that time into a goal that you have. So mm -hmm. No, that is, this, that is like real life, the truth. Like, I feel like sometimes, I ain't, I'm not scared to say it, I put the relationship before school. Like, it was, it's the truth. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I was letting that stress me out so much that something that's like, important such as school it was just like I wasn't handling business correctly like mm -hmm. it wasn't it just wasn't getting done relationship affect your goals 
yes, I do feel like talks really extreme pick your goals because it's like if I'm if I'm only worried about you and how the relationship like how, how everybody else is saying, if I'm only worried about you and how relationship is going between us, I'm not really focusing on myself, just like pretty much everybody else said, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it can affect your goals because basically going off of what he was saying, like if I'm focused on you, I'm not going to be focused on my goals. I'm going to be focused on trying to make us better. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it can definitely affect your goals for sure. Yes. Yes. Pers- this is a personal thing. Yes. Uh, I feel like when it's toxic, you're, you're trying so hard to fix it that you're not focusing on, focusing on yourself. I personally wasn't focusing on myself. Like... I could have done other things, but I would make it about them, trying to make them feel better. They're telling me that I'm doing this and that and that wrong. And the whole time, I'm doing it, but he's, it's just, he's making excuses. So you feel like you're, cha- you, I'm you're changing, changing I'm, yourself yes. rather than focusing on what really yeah. what you feel like. like my future, this no, person's telling yeah. you, like, oh, you don't look good in blue, but you know you look good in blue. Mm-hmm. Because they said it, oh, I don't want to mm-hmm. wear blue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's three other things. I get that. So you think... um. A toxic relationship can affect your goals? Yeah, I believe that. But I'm, I'm not going to say as for, as long as you let it, like as far as you let it get. But I feel like, like I said, situations like that, personally, you just got to get out of it. Real, real, real. That way you can just be straight and wavy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because that could affect your money. It could affect relationships. So you do believe it can affect your goals? Yeah. Yeah, okay. To a certain extent, as far as you let it go. Yeah. Um. Can a person be toxic, or is it the relationship? Um. I'm gonna say both, also. But I feel like I feel like everything just based off of like low key pride, because if we're going back and forth with each other, and if I was the one to be like, all right, I'm sorry, but. It, and you don't and you don't see that I'm trying to work it out, it's like you still have your pride up and I let mine's down. So it's like that's how I feel about it. What was the question? I'm cracking up. Can a person be toxic or is it the relationship? I feel like the relationship makes the person toxic. Cause before you get in a relationship you should start off as friends. You may be cool as friends, but you're not cool as a couple. So you'd be better off as friends. So I definitely feel like the relationship makes the person toxic. Actually, hold on. Yeah, I can sum that. I take that back. I, I take that back. The person is actually toxic. <laughs> why? Why? Because think about it. Once they get in a relationship with, with me, you know what I'm saying? And if I'm already seeing certain stuff that's already toxic about you, it's like I, I know the relationship's going to be toxic after. So that's how I feel about it. But, so you don't feel like... Why would you like like you're cool as friends, just not cool in a relationship. Is that what you're trying to say? Well, no, what I'm trying to say is, like you said, we should have been friends from the jump and knew each other before we even got in a relationship. Before, because if we was jumping into something and I don't like mess with something you do and I, you don't mess with something I do, we both know in our head, like, uh, this, is about, this is finna get toxic. You know what I mean? Or what? That don't make sense, or what? I mean, not really to me, but... I mean, it might to you, though. <laughs> I mean, I just have... Because it's like... It's like... you. But I know I'm agreeing with you. If if we should have been friends at first, mm-hmm. like, for, like, probably, like, a couple months or whatever, to figure out each other, to that see... That dating... That dating period. Yeah, mm-hmm. that dating, dating period. period. Yeah, go on dates yeah. and stuff, figure out each other, see what it's going to be, and then we'll both know what it's going to be. You know what I mean? So you're talking about seeing red flags as friends? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. I agree. Mm. Okay, so, um, can a person be toxic, or is it the relationship? Mm. So, is the person toxic? Like, do they have demons, or is it just you guys don't mix? Person can be toxic. So, you don't think it's the relationship you think the person make like? I feel like it can be both. So, Mm. it could just be a person who's real Mm. toxic, or it can be the relationship that's just toxic. Like, you guys are both bringing out the toxic, like, bad parts of each other. So I feel like it kind of can be both. Because then sometimes, you know, if you're in a relationship with somebody and they say, like, that whole, like, oh, well, I don't have him the way that you had him because some person can be toxic. Mm-hmm. But then when they're with you, they're not toxic because you guys are different. So it could be, like, either a relationship or it can just be that person. And it's, like, that's the thing, honestly. I feel like 
like the question is can a person be toxic or is it the relationship i feel like we always look at that like in such a selfish manner not as like a selfish manner like oh it's never me not even like you know what i'm trying to say not selfish but what's the word what's the word like it's not you it's not me it's them like it's not me it's them mm -hmm. like we we all have toxic traits whether yeah. we want to admit it or not we all have toxic traits so it's like maybe it's like that like that person you're toxic like the stuff that you don't even realize is toxic but you're the toxic traits that you show to them and stuff that comes out and it's all that negative energy feeds into the relationship mm -hmm. and everything is off so i think yeah i think it can honestly be both like you said and everyone's so different. Some people might view something mm -hmm. toxic that someone else won't view toxic. Mm -hmm. That's because people, you know, raised from different backgrounds, different things, so they accept right. things differently than one might accept. Like right. someone might not yeah. even someone might consider you not even respond to me with to me within five minutes toxic. Like you know what I mean? So it just it definitely just depends. No, for real. I agree with her on that. I feel like mm -hmm. the person's toxic. Because going into a relationship, some people just don't have pure intentions in this relationship. And sometimes, if I get back with you, yeah, it's not pure intentions. So I'm the toxic one. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. I'm the toxic one. I'm going in with the idea of, I oh, well, this man hurt me, so I'm going to hurt you. Like, it was just like a thing. So I feel like I'm just the toxic person. <laughs> so. yeah. I feel like the person is toxic because it's like a cause and effect like slippery slope type kind of mm. thing like for me they toxic so not relationships gonna be toxic mm -hmm. can a toxic relationship shape you into a better person yes it can but it matters how you go about it so like what i mean by that is when i in, into my next relationship i still know everything from my last toxic relationship you know what i mean so knowing that if i put that on if i put that ideology on somebody else it's going to be like why are you why, why couldn't I start off with a clean slate what I say is that don't ever stop being nice just change who you be nice to mm. okay. okay um what was the question can a toxic relationship <laughs> shape you into a better person I definitely feel like it can for sure because you'll notice that there's things you don't want in your life going through that toxic relationship so you'll be able to catch it firsthand as soon as it happens like yeah i don't like that like you gotta go so yeah i definitely mm -hmm. feel like it can okay. the toxic relationship shape you into a better person yeah it can because like we was talking about like it affecting your goals after you're done with that person you're gonna be like hold on like you're gonna step back into that well some people don't but most people step back into that let me get back to me let me get back to the hustle or I was before this person let me get back to the person I was like let me get my hair done let me let me do something for me finally like I don't have to worry about what you're doing and how you're talking about me or how you're talking to me no like I finally get to be focused on myself yeah I feel like to really answer that I feel like it's the type of person you are they mm -hmm. are bro for most people take that to motivate them to go run a bag up or song most people just brush it off their shoulders keep going with their life and it's like really sad that i feel like like you said then it motivate them to go chase the bag and it's like you should have never like not been on that type time like it's like it's the fact that toxic relationships like you know that it, it just that stuff takes you oh now i want to have more self-care oh now i want to get more money like i don't know why and that's like that's that that's that dark cloud over you it just like it just following you and it's like you just lose yourself and that's also back to that is the person toxic toxic yep um i think everything bad that you go through can shape you to be someone better if you learn the lesson that you know it takes out of everything bad but i also think if you just take everything like out of a toxic relationship and you're so hard on yourself, then it cannot make you a good person. Like, mm. you can kind of be mean to, like, your next relationship or do something like that because you're, like, afraid of what happened from, like, the past kind of thing. Mm -hmm. No, I agree with her. It definitely make you a better person. Like, if you learn a lesson, um, like, like she said, like, you can be, you can go in either your next relationship uh, thinking it could be this, the last one, or it could be a different, like, you've given this person a try, like, just might be like, all right, I put my, all my trust in this person, or you might have trust issues. So it's all up to you, though, for real, for real. Yeah, I think I agree with Iona. Like, I'm pretty, I agree with the fact that, like, 
<clears throat> like you said, if you take all the toxic stuff out of a relationship and then it's like, like, and it's, and this is the thing, it's like, okay, we're saying a better person, but it's like, not even a better person, you're just being the person that you should be. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is where you were supposed to go. Like, you know, not even directly like a better person, really. Okay, so we're going to cut it. Um, do toxic people know that they're toxic? Does toxic people know that they're toxic? Mm. Does toxic people know they're toxic? Uh, mm, yes, but no. I don't know. I don't really know how to answer that because, like I said, I go back from what I just said before: is that if you have your pride, it's just based off pride, in my opinion. That's just that's my opinion because it's like mm -hmm. you know in your head, like I'm not about to let this go. I'm not about to let this go. But if you just let it go, go. Mm -hmm. Like, like you're be, choosing to be, and you're choosing, choosing. to be toxic. Yeah. And you know that that's consciously. Why I said it. That's what I you was. Know that mm -hmm. consciously that like. Are these bad I'm not choices, that go. or you're just subconsciously doing it? You're go. just choosing. Yeah. Like you're, you're, cho you're purpose. You're consciously choosing. To exactly. Be, yeah. I don't feel like toxic people know that they're toxic until they get out of that toxic situation because then they'll look like, back mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. But if they doing reflect, it? yeah, if they reflect, because there are yeah. really people walking yeah. around like really thinking that they weren't the problem. That's why I said pride. It comes yeah. down all down yep. to pride. Everything leads right back to pride. Because mm -hmm. like she said, once you reflect, like, damn, I, damn, I was like that. I really do that? You know, reflecting, like, I got to start laying my pride down a little more. Like, or, you know what I'm saying? If I want to make sure something works with the next person, I have to make sure that I'm willing to let go of certain things. Okay. Okay, so do you guys think toxic people know that they're toxic? You can't, you can't see that you're being wrong in a situation. Like, there's a lot of situations that you'd be like, all right, I'm just, I'm just doing, I'm just doing stuff to make you mad now. Like, I'm being real toxic right now. Like, and some people really genuinely don't know what they're doing. But like, at a certain point, at a certain age, at a certain mindset, you got to be like, this ain't right. This, I know right from wrong and this is wrong. Like he so, said, with pride. I mm -hmm. feel like some people, I feel like people really don't think that they're doing wrong. But like, we but we can see that they're doing wrong, and they know they're doing wrong, because if it was done to them, they yep. wouldn't like it, so. I'm going to keep it 100. I see that as like 50-50 for real, for real, because could, that could be determined based off the way somebody was raised, mm -hmm. and like a whole bunch of other stuff. The environment. Real, real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like they already got their standards, life viewpoints, <clears> and what they saw and all that, so they just thinking it's cool and not, you feel me, but. There are just people that are just toxic doing that shit for just fun. But is it that they're doing it because they've seen it or they don't know nothing else? Because you're saying. It like, depends on your morals. Like, yeah, but he's saying it, like, comes it comes from the environment. Like Say if I like grew majority, up. But still, you like should know that that environment. But that's what I'm like, saying. Like, say, not, but he's saying, yeah. like, that if I see somebody beating on. Say if I see my mother beating on my father, I'm not going to grow up to beat on a man because I see I mean, it. It don't necessarily even gotta be that, bro, bro. Mm -hmm. You could be a little boy, separated. But you know that it's household. not okay. Like you, you see could. it, and you're like, I wouldn't do that. So is it really, like, the environment, or is it just like the person? I mean, as far as you saying, like beating on somebody, feel me? I, I was more so getting that. Like, so I guess it's more. It's more not even, like it's just about. Like, well, we know, obviously, like, domestic and stuff, that's it's not, not okay. okay. Like, that, and that's, it's, it's mm -hmm. like, not even legal either. Yeah. So, I guess, like, but it, it would go, like, morally, like, what's the, what upon your morals is. So, here is my last question. Do toxic people know they are toxic? Mm, I feel like they ain't going to admit it. Toxic people won't admit that they're toxic, yeah. So, y'all saying, like, it's, like, they don't know? I they know, but I feel like they gonna say no regardless. Like, like they don't want to oh. change it. Like, personally, I know I'm toxic, <laughs> but I'm gonna tell my partner no, I'm not toxic. That is toxic. That that is, that's, what that is so that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. They're gonna admit they're not toxic, boo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, there's certain. It's it's all about what you think is toxic and not toxic. Boo. Like, okay, like, do we mm -hmm. like dog? Do when with toxic people? Do y'all think like these are just. Do you think these are just bad choices or, like, people are just subconsciously, like, just really Satan? Um, I think, like, a toxic person can be toxic, like, if, and they'll know. I feel like you know when you're toxic. Like, you know when you're toxic. Like, you know you're a bad bap. I don't and care. You, you know you're a bad bap. You're a bad person. You are not just a bad right now. Like, like, what, she, what she said, she said, you take too long to text back. That's not toxic. 
But she didn't say no, it was. No, no, I know, I know, I know. She's saying. I was just saying. Like some people think that's toxic. I'm yeah. Just taking on t- that's not toxic. No, I might be busy. I'm focusing on my goals. If I'm, if I'm here. No, I'm focusing on my goals. I like See, that. All right, all right. Talk to him, big dog. But talk to him. How he said how you say you know you're a toxic person, but you're not going to tell someone you're toxic. So would you change for that person? Because, yeah, like, definitely. Because toxic isn't a good thing. No. no. Like, that's it's not a flex. It's not a flex. Definitely. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, I like the fun talk to the, the fun toxic? The what? Fun toxic, like, I think all toxic is fun though. No, nah, not the. To an extent. Not, yeah, there you go. <laughs> It'd be a little interesting. It like cheating little... is not fun. That's not a good toxic. That's not a good toxic. But like <laughs> making up a little fake argument, go home, have some makeup sex. That's the fun toxic. I'm <laughs> like just... That's fun toxic. <laughs> that's like that's. <laughs> like that's what. That's why fun are you toxic doing... though. But why are you doing stuff like that? Making an <laughs> argument. <laughs> 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 like bro, I think that's miserable. <laughs> that's misery. That's misery. Like what? Okay. What are your toxic traits? Like you know, we're talking about self reflecting and stuff. So maybe some self reflection can be added right now. Um, I'll start off. Um, my toxic traits. I am. I don't know. It's like a, I could be a narcissist a lot of the time. Mm. That is like a horrible oh, thing yeah. to know yeah. and admit to. But like I said, I really, really can. And my aggressiveness, like that, really needs to stop. Like I'm a hothead, and it just it's over like little stuff. And I think like a lot of the time, that's what really makes me toxic. Cause I just like, and it, I just I just know. Like I just know how I get. So yeah. Well, I feel like I feel like uh, I'd be a little bit too nonchalant, and uh, what else? Now, I'd definitely be a little bit too no. And uh, people think I'm a know it all, mm-hmm. but I'm not. I don't gave feel, that. I don't feel like I know. I don't, I don't feel like I'm a know it all. I just <laughs> how how can you be mad at somebody that just know knowledge? You can't be mad at nobody. You know what I mean? Like, that's it's not my fault. Like, you don't know that. Bad. That's not bad. That's not my fault. You know what I mean? What the fuck? Like, like, that's not my fault. But yeah, okay. but yeah, I feel like I'm just uh, too too nonchalant in certain situ- uh, certain situation. I feel like my toxic traits or I need attention. Mm. I need a lot of attention, at least at first. But like. Not even just attention, like communication too. Like I need to know not what you're doing, but like if you're not gonna be texting me, you need to tell me that. Like communication goes along. Clarity, way. like I need the clarity. Yeah, like I yeah. need to know that. Like you know, just I don't know. Like that's big because I don't know. I'm an overthinker, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that makes you know, that just brings it out on me. But was that everything? Mm-hmm. No, I feel like I'm too controlling at times too. But not even controlling. I feel like if you're not on your shit, like. I want you on your shit. So, like, I'm going to be telling you straight up what I feel like you should be doing. Yeah, or offering choices and shit like that. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, my last nigga thought it was something wrong with that. So, <laughs> that's another conversation for another day. Okay. All right. You could cut it. <laughs> I don't believe in letting things go. I will get my leg back until I'm done with you. I promise I'm going to make you feel what you made me feel one time, you have one time to do me, I will do you so dirty for months and you won't even know it. And I promise that's not in, That's not the last thing. I got a big bang. Like, I have a whole, yeah, no. All right. <laughs> all right. You guys, serious. All right. What's your talk? Yeah, keep it all the way, honey. One, I'm not sure my whole time shit. A mm-hmm. whole bunch of shit, bro, bro. Like, if I don't agree with it, we can't see out of life. We can't talk about it, and you just, like, feel me? You ain't trying to see my viewpoint or some shit. I'm shutting all that shit down. Feel me? You're just going to be mad. I fuck around, laugh at you in your face. Mm-hmm. So, on my life, because it's that like, you ain't trying to see me. <laughs> we <laughs> would have been a domestic <laughs> stuff, <laughs> baby. Oh, no. Right. So, oh, no. <laughs> kind of like what she said on my life. I'm a firm believer. Look, I hope I'm looking directly in this camera. <laughs> I'm a firm believer. Don't start no shit. Won't be no shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. well, I'm going to keep it on now. I'll be like lenient with certain shit. But once you like start thinking, yeah, I mean, that little inch I'm giving, expanding the big ass mouth, it's also on my life. 
Just you don't even get right that. There. You don't even get that. You got one. You got one inch. On pinch, one lynch. I don't care. I'm mm. getting my lick back. If you do anything, I don't like. I don't care. It depends on what you do. Oh, God. Nope. Don't care. It don't depend on that. Toxic traits. <sighs> Be lying about stupid shit. <laughs> you shit, liar. That, shit that you shouldn't lie about, like it, it definitely be the littlest shit, like you shouldn't lie about. Like, damn, why not just say what it is? Uh, That's a sickness. <laughs> <laughs> um, I be forgetting to text back sometimes, but I be busy though. That's. that's I thought she said talk text and back wasn't a toxic trait. It ain't, but there be girls really think that's a toxic trait. So I guess I'm gonna throw it out there. I'm gonna go with y'all. She's not interested in me, like. I'm um. Like in pictures, I guess that's a toxic. So you're a cheater. <laughs> that's not you're a cheater. cheating. Oh my god. Bad. We're not even gonna get that. That's a topic for another day. I swear. Like. But, but yeah, that's mm -hmm. really it. For real, for real. Yeah. What, what, what are your toxic traits? Um, I think my toxic trait is I have to say attention. I do love attention. Um, so I can be a little toxic. But I think also a toxic trait that I have is. I'd be like knowing something, and then I'm gonna ask you, and then like if well, you're you lying, then I'm just gonna say it's true trick from the beginning. Yeah. So that's my like toxic that. trait. Like I know like you doing something, yeah, and I'm like, hmm, I okay. And, or I'll always think I'm like not always think I'm right, but I have an opinion to everything. Maybe that could be a little toxic mm. trait that I'm working you wanna on. You want to know? Though. Can have an opinion to a couple. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, you have an opinion. You just shouldn't say it. Yeah. If you yeah. want, you don't say it. You fine. You can have an opinion on anything. Like, but yeah. Okay, so thank you for watching, guys. And we are done with this video. I want everybody give yourselves a round of applause. Everybody give me round of round of applause. We did an awesome talk. So, um, if you're new here, make sure you like and subscribe. Even if you're returning, make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you guys for supporting. But. I need you guys to be fucking for real. Like, BFF for 100 emoji, okay? Be serious. I need you to give me about two to three toxic traits that you think you had. And make sure that you comment them below. Come on, y'all. Point them below. Comment it below. Like, be fucking for real, y'all. Let's go. Thank you. Uh -huh. I got so much energy.